Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. Uh, in this session, we will expand our previous session. In previous session, we learned how to implement the Boolean expression in uh, our for our scripting language uh, using Python and Plex. In this session, we will implement greater than equal to greater than or equal to and less than equal to and equal or not equal things like that so please you can you can watch more of my videos regarding scripting language development you can watch my other videos in this list and also subscribe to my channel then you can have you you will i will make lots of cool videos about scripting language and advanced programming technique download the source code using this link Unzip the source code. Unzip the downloaded file. Then in the folder, right click, copy, and move it to your working folder. Open the solution using Visual Studio 2015. I'm using Visual Studio 2015. Control F5 to build, build and run. Okay. Open a sample code. It is in release, release folder. Say in release folder. You probably have a sample code like this. Then you can run it by clicking run in process. Now we will extend our scripting language. Open Python and Plux here. We will first add uh, easy things first. Scroll down here. Uh, this is this is the state of the code we developed in previous session. Now we will add more tokens here. Relational. I will add L E Q yeah, L T Q E. L T Q E means uh, less than equal to. And we will add one more L T uh, G T. G T means greater than or equal to. So I will add two more uh, operators here with the same uh, precedence. Now it becomes pretty simple. We, we can just copy this code. We can just copy and paste like this. Then change it to uh, less than lt equal to like this and it can be less than equal to and this is greater than equal to then greater than equal to okay also copy this one Copy, paste, here, yeah. this is also less than equal to, this is greater than equal to, here. Yeah. And here we will also copy the whole, uh, the whole, like this. This should be less than equal to, less than equal to, this is greater than 
equal to then it should be save it save them uh, I think we have done I will add here one more one more thing we we need to use uh, parentheses like this if we if we want to use parentheses we have to do it like this okay save them now build control F no 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 control F7 control F7 just to compile GTEQ is used but not defined as a token or no rules GTEQ greater than GT sorry it is EQ GT EQ Control F7 again Okay, you should not have any shift reduce or reduce reduce warning. You should not have it should build cleanly like this and open lexical scanner here Lexa file, we have to define uh, operator. So move down, move down, move down, move down here. Uh, we have to define like this. OPTR uh, less than equal to. We have to use less than equal to. This is less than, and we are scanning Unix system, a Unicode system, so we always have to use two byte. And this, in fact, this is the. It is if we are using a simple, simple. How can I say? Simple uh, NC text scanner. We can simply define like this. Or simply, more simply like this. We can define like this, like this. But we are using Unicode system, so it we can also do like this. We can define. We can. We probably can define like this too. But I want. I want you to learn more about uh, advanced technique. Okay, zero x. It means zero null character actually. And it should be four byte like this. This is equal and uh, less than equal to. And I will define one more operator. This is greater than equal to. Then it should be like this. Okay. Save save it. Then we have to uh, operate after this. Not not above it. We have to below. Put it below. See, O P. I say, I will say just O P R. O P R. Okay. O P R. Less than equal to uh, equal less than equal. Then we can simply return T K N. Uh, L T less than equal like this and copy once again this is gt eq greater than equal to it should be gt eq save now build build the whole solution seems built f control f5 to run Okay, now all the sample code again. We can change it to. We can test like this. Less than, equal to, greater than, equal to. Okay, then run. 
Okay, it works. Uh, 5.6 is greater than or equal to 5. Yes, true. And 5 is greater than, uh, less than or equal to 5.6. Uh, 5 okay, it works. Then we will implement equal. Okay, so equal has higher precedence. Uh, left, we say EQUL. Okay, then we need not equal. N E Q uh, N Q U L. N Q U L means not equal. E Q U L means equal. We are defining symbols, tokens like this. Then uh, it is pretty simple. So I will la label one more here. Equal, not equal. Type B L E N E X P R. EQ, EQUL, EXPR, EQ, and NQUL. Okay, equal, not equal. Save. Then let's, let's start with equal. Here, I will make it here. Uh, apt here. EXPR, EQUL. Okay. Uh, it's pretty simple actually. Mm. EXPR, INTZ, mm. EQUL, EXPR, INTZ. It means dollar uh, one, dollar three. Now copy this. This. We are comparing two integer expressions. Paste. Now we are comparing two double DBLE. Two, two doubles. Okay. Now copy it several twice. Copy it. Two, three. Now it can be. Uh, INTG, INTG, and it can be INTG. Okay, then done. Okay, all combination, all combinations are expressed, I guess. So integer, integer, double, double, integer, double. Double integer, all combinations. Uh, it can be, it should be double. Mm -hmm. Do some type casting like this. And double. Actually, I think type casting is not needed. C will handle that. Okay, so let's try it. Save it. Then this is equal, but how do we make not equal? Just simple. Just copy it and NQL. NQL means this is not equal. Then change it NQL. Then we can change it like this. Save. Then we have to register them here. EXPR, BLEN, EQUL. EXPR, BLEN, NQUL. Save. EQL, NQL. EQL, NQL. Okay. So, and don't forget, we have to add another operator. Here, uh, I will make another printer. OPR uh, equal EQUL. And another. T 
two equals, right? This is equal. And NQUL not equal. And it should be this. Save. Okay. Then you can put it here. One, two. EQUL, EQUL equal. Then TKN, EQ, EQUL. This is not equal. NQUL. And this is NQUL. NQUL. Now save them. Now build a uh, parser library. Uh, before we do that, let's let's build the parser parser Y first. Right click parser, compile. We should not have any warnings. We have warning. Wow. Uh, I think we made mistake. 152, 100, 150, oh, it should be uh, BL, BL, BLEN, okay, and also it should be BLEN, BLEN, save, and let's check. Okay. B L E N. B L E N. Like this. Save. Control F seven. Okay. Succeeded with no warnings or error. And then right click library. Library parser. It should build, I guess. Now let's run Control F5. Okay, load again. And let's say equal. Test one more. 6.7. 6.7. Not equal. You can also try with integer and double. Six, seven, six, seven. Save, run. Shit. Okay, it works. Uh, true. Six is not equal to seven. True. Six is equal to seven. False. Six point seven. Six point is not equal. False. Say if we can, it's hard to compare, then we can move it. We can move it like this. Ah, it's too small. Say. If I will after filming, I will debug. If if I made error, then I will fix it in next video. I will now move on to uh, relational operator. Uh, relational. Relational means uh, end or okay end or. So I will make end or operator two here. End or operator has a lower precedence. Lower precedence here. Say end say end. I will say B end. 
B means boolean end, okay? And I would just say end. And I would just say or. Like this. End or. I think end or is simple. It takes on both sides, it takes uh, boolean values, right? And or. This is boolean expression and or. So, uh, we will not introduce new construct. I will just uh, introduce construct. Uh, we will use this just like this. Okay. EXPR, BLEM, Boolean, uh, and EXPR, BLEM, here. Da la da la. Uh, one and three. It's simple. And we we need or 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 and it is simply this save. Okay, it's pretty simple. Now we define operator here. OPR end end uh, end 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 means this and this. Wow. Wow. This. This. See. Then you can pass like this. And. Save. I'm sorry, I made a mistake here. Say, and has or has lower lower precedence. Okay, so we have to do like this. Left or. Because O has higher end has higher precedence. Uh, equal. Say which has higher. This is equal. This is end. Which has higher precedence in C plus plus. We can test it, or we can leap to internet. Okay. We will fix if I if it has problem, then I will fix it in next session. From my Understanding or has lower precedence and end has higher precedence. So I will let it do like this. Then I will, if it has a problem, I will fix in uh, future video or next video. Now we we added these two expressions. Now build control F5. Okay, it has no shift reduce or reduce reduce warning. So uh, we can build and run. Control F5. Okay, load sample. Uh, what we are what we are testing and or right. Let's see. A uh, four is greater than uh, five. This is false, right? Or uh, four is less than five. It should be true, right? I'm making it true intentionally. And see, let's run it. 
I missed semicolon. Run it. It says true. Yes, it's true, right? Because it has lower precedence, we can also do like this. We don't need, we don't need, I want to say, we probably can do this like this. Let's run it. Yes, it works because it has it has lower pre precedence than less than or greater greater than. Okay. Now let's try end. Okay. Pulse. This is pulse true, right? Now let's change it a little bit. This is true and this is true. True. So we can test more if I made a mistake in my code about operator precedence. And then I will fix that in my next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you in next video.